All right, so you guys are probably wondering what I was gonna do post Kickstarter. The interesting thing about Kickstarter is win or lose, you have great networking opportunities. Now, I mean, I was somewhat realistic going into this whole thing, and I fully understood it was entirely possible that the Kickstarter would not meet its goal. The thing about Kickstarter is it's great when you are an independent developer with a one or a two man team, or if you're a really, really well known developer, say you made Mega Man in the past, then you'll do pretty well. But when you're that guy who has a team of eight or so, and you're aiming for as AAA as humanly possible, you're somewhere in between those two slots. And it's very difficult to convey that. On top of that, VR is still very new. So it's really impossible for me to convey to people who haven't tried it exactly what the experience is that I'm trying to deliver. I'm really looking forward to making this work, and I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure that happens. I've been told repeatedly that had I set it significantly lower, that chances of succeeding would have been higher. Now, I, I believe, personally, that when I make a promise to make a game, that I deliver on it. I've seen time and time again that Kickstarters succeed in reaching their goal, but not succeed in really figuring out what it takes to make the game that they're promising to deliver. And so, I did not want a scenario where to drive the eight-person project and not be able to, to follow through on that. Here's what we're gonna do. Now this site has four main sections to it. It has the subscribe to the vlog, and what the vlog is is the video log from Patreon. What I'm gonna have there is a behind-the-scenes view of game development as it happens. So I'm gonna be updating and, and making this game as best as I can, and you guys can subscribe and you can set the price however you want and what that will do is let you see how game development is actually done on the other side here we have buy swag it's, that's the store that's the online store all of those items that were in the kickstarter tier are now going to be available for purchase all of the proceeds for that will go straight into game development contribute so what this is is it might not be overly obvious at first but during the Kickstarter, there were several contributions made towards me that offset the cost of the total game development. Now, once the Kickstarter is launched, it is impossible for me to reduce the goal, so that made it a little bit difficult. But however, there have been those uh, individuals from Oculus and Sony and, and other various people who have helped kicked in towards this project. That's one of those things you can't really plan for when you first go into the Kickstarter, but that saves $5,000 right there, just having access to a PS4 dev kit. So the contribute section is a section where anybody can donate items for development or even their time if they're very gifted artists, coders, or whatever. I'd love to hear from any of you. Anything we can do to make this title work, I'm, I'm all for. The last section is straight up donation. And so what we have here is a PayPal link where all you have to do is fill in the amount and how often. It shows how many donations have already been made through the site and it also has a list of the top donators. During the Kickstarter, there were several donations already made, like the PS4 dev kits, some hardware from Oculus, and various other things. So we're not starting from ground zero. Far from it, actually. We are already, from day one, at 3.52% of the total goal needed to get this game done. You'll see how much has been raised so far. Currently, we're at 6,974, and that's fantastic for day one. And so, the ultimate goal is to get this game made within a year. We want this to be available when this comes out or when the consumer version of the Oculus comes up. Now let me talk to you a little bit about what's been going on the last few weeks during the Kickstarter campaign. You may have noticed that my communication has been a little less frequent. This is because I was down at SIGGRAPH, I was down at um, Unite, and various other venues, and there have been some really interesting opportunities presented. Uh, I've also been working with the people over at Leap Motion who have hand tracking solutions for PC and they, they do a fantastic job. I mean, can you imagine Proton Pulse with hand tracking? That would be phenomenal. We are all in this together. So anything I manage to gather up or anything you guys are uh, able to donate will be reflected here. I'm gonna go ahead and start as soon as I can development on level to the boss fight, various other things. Um, and I'm gonna be documenting all of that to be on the vlog. So if you you guys wanna see what's going on, uh, more than welcome to, to join that. One of the things I, I wanna do moving forward is to have two-way communication. So I'm going to be opening up the uh, forum for anybody who is uh, subscribed to that. Now there's a couple things coming up really soon. One in particular is later this week, 
I'm going to be at PAX, and there's going to be a VR mixer Friday night at 7 o'clock. Also, I will be at Fangamer Attract Mode. I'll post the details on that as well. But there you'll be able to play the game, see me and meet me at the booth. Calendar Vol, who is the voice actress for Q, will also be there signing posters. And lastly, Vert, the musician who made that awesome turnaround song. He'll be performing live. I'm not entirely sure what music he's going to be playing, but if you're in the neighborhood, I, I strongly suggest it. So I hope to see some of you there. That would be great. I'm also going to be attending Oculus Connect. Now, this is a invitation-only event from Oculus. It's for developers primarily. So I'll make sure to keep you guys all in tune for that. To boil it down, the game is not dead. There is no way I would shelve this. It's just going to be a little bit more difficult because I am not a PR guy. I'm not a marketing guy. That's that's not second nature to me. I develop games. That's what I know. So it's when I when I can't make the ends meet to get this game off the ground or the next level or any particular asset, it takes me a little while longer because I have to go out there and find the resources necessary to pull it off. And so I believe with with all of us together, we can really make this work. I, uh, Kickstarter is not the start and end of everything. This is just. It's really the first step. There have been plenty of games that didn't make it through Kickstarter that ended up being fantastic. And I, I'm not going to stop, and I hope you guys tune in, and uh, I'll see you on the other side.